Hey guys, this is Peterson Charles from Monster Gym Wear. We have some breaking news that I picked up on RX Muscle with Dave Palumbo and the guys over there. Uh, Sean Roden entered the court this morning in Utah and entered a not guilty plea this morning. As we know, uh, he also hired the, uh, the law firm uh, Rick Collins. And uh, Rick Collins is, is famous for dealing with uh, many, many cases, especially cases like this. Uh, so the news is breaking right now guys, so I'm just gonna play that video from RX Muscle and uh, Dave and the guys out there will definitely give you uh, more details as to uh, What's going on right now? Uh, we also know that they reduced the bill from $750,000 to I think down to $250,000 so that's kind of uh, good for Sean Roden so uh, so guys, uh, a lot of people have been speculating. I think uh, just let let everything play out and then we'll definitely have some more updates for you concerning that uh, Sean Roden case. All right, guys, see you guys in the next one. And please rate and subscribe to the Monster Gym channels for the latest updates in the bodybuilding and fitness industry. Bye, guys. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update. This just in on the Sean Roden case. Rick Collins, a uh, law firm, announced and uh, as you know, I'm very good friends with Rick Collins. They announced that they'd be representing Sean Roden. They appeared with him in Utah in court where they entered a not guilty plea. Uh, Rick also was able to get the bail reduced from the 750,000 that was originally reported down to 250,000. And as well, uh, the obviously the arrest uh, warrant was vacated. So now that the plea was entered, uh, there's no arrest warrant out for Sean Roden. Uh, we knew this was going to happen. We knew at some point Sean would have to surrender uh, and go to make a court appearance in Utah from his home in California. Uh, he has obviously secured the law firm of Rick Collins to represent him. Uh, knowing Rick for, for 100 years, I have to say that Sean Roden is in excellent hands. Uh, I don't think that there's anyone out there who could protect and could give justice to Sean Roden better than Rick Collins. Now it's in the court's hands. Obviously, the legal process will ensue, and we'll find out what the next step is going to be. Uh, but that news is uh, certainly breaking right now that uh, Sean Roden has hired Rick Collins' law firm to represent him. He entered a not guilty plea in Utah, and I guess the court proceedings will now progress from here. Uh, this is uh, one of probably innumerable updates you're going to get on the Sean Roden case over the next couple days because. This is going to start happening very quickly now. We're going to get discovery. We're going to get a lot more uh, items to report. And of course, we're going to get the stuff from outside the court. Now, the only real relevant you know, information is the stuff coming from the court. There's a lot of hearsay. There's a lot of people you know, spreading rumors and putting up stories all over the place. You know, you got to take that with a grain of salt. The jurors are going to see only what is legally entered into the discovery and the witnesses that will be obviously brought to the stand. Uh, but this is uh, a breaking news, obviously. Sean Roden uh, pleads not guilty. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update.